Hi there, my name is Phil and I work at D12. I work with lots of instructors from the higher education and K-12 space that use Brightspace on a regular basis. And one awesome piece of feedback I get from lots of instructors is how much they love the video note tool. The video note tool makes it really easy for instructors to provide communication and feedback in the form of audio and video. And this is really powerful because uh, going beyond text, students love to be able to see and hear from their actual instructors instead of just reading a page. The video note tool really helps instructors personalize the learning experience by providing that audio and video based communication and feedback really throughout the platform. You can include and record video notes in various different tools, including announcements, content, discussions, uh, feedback on your assessments, even within the gradebook. And this particular tool is available to all users. I've seen really interesting examples of, of using the video note tool where the instructor prompts the students to introduce themselves to their peers in the class through the video note tool in discussions. So you can really use this tool to add audio and video throughout the platform. It's really easy to use and one great added benefit is that video notes do automatically caption. Now the importance of automatic captions is from that accessibility standpoint, this means that when I record a video, captions are added to that video automatically, and we're breaking down those barriers to learning by ensuring that everyone can then interact with and view that video. In a second, we'll jump into Brightspace and we'll take a look. To demonstrate the video note tool, what we'll do is create a new announcement within this English course, inviting students to participate in a virtual lecture that will be taking place today. From my course homepage, I will choose the drop down beside the announcements tool and I will choose new announcement. When I create my new announcement, I'll add a headline. I will say first name, please join the virtual lecture today. Now within the content of my message itself or announcement here, I will use my insert stuff function to choose to embed a video note into this particular announcement. When I choose video note, my webcam will launch and I can record my message. Hi everybody, please join our virtual lecture today at 12.30 p.m. I'll see you there. When I hit the next button to insert my video note, I'm going to be prompted to add a title, a description, and choose my language. I'll say join the virtual lecture. I'll skip the description for now, and I'm going to choose my language of English US. You can see that when I choose the language, I have the ability to specify that I would like closed captions to be automatically generated from the audio within the particular video note that we just recorded. I can now simply hit the next button and I can insert my video note right into the announcement. Now I'm also going to center this particular video note and I'll add a link here for my students as well on the left saying uh, you can access the virtual lecture here. And I'll add a quick link that points to the virtual lecture that I created this morning. Choose to insert a quick link, and I'll point to that virtual lecture, and now hit the publish button. Now, when I come back to the home page of my course, what I can see here is I've just created a new announcement. I've used a replacement string to personalize the message by adding the user's first name. I've got my recording here that'll have captions, and I can see that I've just added a quick link that points to that virtual lecture. So as you can see, it's very easy to record a video note, uh, in this case as an announcement, so that we can provide that audio and video feedback and communication to our students within the Brightspace platform.